Well, this type of truck should start to look familiar by now. I've only had, I don't know, probably 18 of these things maybe now, 20 by now. But uh, this is a 2000 GMC 2500 Sierra with a diamond, diamond slash Myers plow. I believe it's just diamond back then. I know they have connected since uh, this was made back in 2000. I think Diamond and Meyer were a separate company, but I believe they are. Yeah, no, it's still still connected. Diamond Meyer, Easy Mount Plus Plow. Got some rust on it. A little bit of a little bit of a hole action there, but uh, definitely had worse. Uh, fully functioning plow and good running truck just picked up as a uh, I'm not sure what I'm doing with it yet uh, it's going to be a plow truck if it's going to be a backup truck or if I'm going to put a little time and money into it and make it a front line truck uh, it's got some new tires on it got some alloy wheels uh, decent bed liner in the back you know the spray and bed liner it's actually in good shape actually has its rocker panels they're not rotted through like is so common on these there is some rust here and there no doubt it is kind of rusty but uh, usually these trucks by this time are pretty much rotted away to nothing um, as you could tell from my last videos on my dump truck uh, we got 128,000 miles uh, air conditioning interiors in decent condition for a 2000 for sure and uh, yeah got it for a really low price considering uh we got probably 800 dollars worth of tires sitting there brand new tires on it and the wheels uh with the plow ready to go running and driving a little squeaky door but yeah got some flaky rust in the cab corners on its way out but pretty original truck like i said this is uh pretty much what they look like about 10 years ago by now they're they're way worse condition got some plowing lights got a hitch on it so it was a towing slash recovering company that uh just upgraded their trucks uh this just happened uh it broke one of the rear uh u-joint uh u-bolts on the axle and the axle shifted back and pushed in this back of the bed so i gotta pull this back out you can almost do it by hand i'm just gonna unbolt the bracket and bend this back so get it back to where it was but i don't know i might uh i might slap a quickie white paint job on it to make it match the dump truck i don't know uh, we'll see how it treats me um, but i'm gonna do some plowing with it this winter get it up on the lift check it out and uh see what it needs uh, it's got some new brakes on it and some other stuff so i think it's uh pretty much good to go but we'll check it out but that uh is definitely a good match for the old dump truck that we restored about this time last year so yeah here's the uh dump truck that we repainted on the channel in the shop here uh, i don't think i've washed it all season i think i maybe washed it once after I painted it. Uh, so it's just been working. Uh, it pedaled hundreds and hundreds of yards of mulch this year. I uh, got it in the shop now. Got to do a couple little repairs on it and get it set up for a leaf cleanup season. It is the time. Uh, leaves are pretty much finished falling. And uh, yeah, it's held up pretty good. Uh, since we did the repaint, again, it's filthy, but we also did the uh, interior swap on this, put the newer style seats and console and steering wheel in it. Maybe we'll do that to the other one too. But yeah, I was thinking that truck is the exact same body style in the same year. These are both the year 2000s uh, GMCs, so it matches this. I might actually go ahead and uh, give that truck a paint job. Probably not going to go to the extreme of dealing with the rust in the rod. I might just do a quickie paint job. Uh, you know, kind of a Mako job, which is kind of what this was, but I did replace some body panels and got rid of some rot because I plan on keeping this for a while, but uh, it would be nice to get it to match and maybe put some lettering on it. So I think I might go that route. We'll see how it goes. Um, but for now, I'm going to use it just uh, to do a little plowing this year. And my uh, mud flap has 
taken a dive, so we got to fix that while I got the truck in. This is how it's supposed to be. Just hanging down there, and it decided to break off. So we're going to re-weld a new uh, mount for that. And we are going to install or mount up our 18 horsepower leaf loader with the tarp set up and everything. Uh, I was gonna do something a little more extravagant this season uh, and build a bigger box and all that stuff, but uh, time has kind of ticked away and got the best of me and I haven't really done anything on it. So what I am going to do is put the same box that I built last year, which is uh, I think another four feet over what we have here and it stops here. And we're gonna go ahead and mount the leaf loader right back up here. Got the holes already uh, in here, ready to go. Right there, there, here, and here. And we're gonna just run the uh, leaf loader off the side of the truck here. It just stays here when we dump. It just goes up in the air with the dump truck. Still got the mounting plate with the keys left on here from when I had it mounted up last season, but. some progress here got our front board back on got the leaf loader mounted back down and bolted in so we're all set there last year i made this little deflector so that the uh, hot exhaust kind of comes out this way rather than towards the wind the window seemed to be fine i didn't have any issues with that so next up is to go grab the rest of the Leaf box pieces for the top is just three pieces, one, two, three, and then the tarp comes over it. I believe that's all there is. I don't think there was a back. I think the tarp is just what I use for the back. I'll have to get it set up, but I, one of the reasons I made this a certain height that I did is so I could still get the truck in the shop. So with the leaf box on and the, the, leaf, uh, the uh, leaf loader outlet is the right height where I can still sneak in if I need to back this in which is really nice if you got a snowstorm coming or some rain and you got some leaves that you don't want to have frozen inside of the box. I've had that happen many a times. You do a cleanup, you know, be done at 4, 4.30 or whatever when it gets dark and then you park the truck outside and then overnight the leaves freeze. So then you go to dump in the morning uh, when you, you know, when you can and all you have is a big, big block of ice leaves and then, uh, and then you're screwed because you can't really continue on with your day until you get those leaves out. So, you park the truck in the sun, run the truck with the exhaust to heat up underneath it, hopefully to loosen it up a little bit and try to chip away and get the leaves out. But I've done that quite a few times in the past. So anytime it's going to be frozen overnight and I have a load of leaves in here, I'll be able to pull it in the garage uh, and at least leave it above freezing in here. So that won't happen. So, all right, let me uh, continue on with the rest of the pieces and we'll show you the end product. All right, that wasn't bad at all couple of carriage bolts through the existing holes I had made. Got the front panel on. I think I put this on backwards. I think it might have been flipped around the other way. I'm not sure. Maybe it, maybe it was that way. But it doesn't really matter. It blocks off the front regardless. The tube goes over. Then I got a metal tube that bends and shoots right down into the back of the truck through a hole in the top of the tarp. I don't know why I'm bothering explaining it to you. I'll show you by the end of the video. But yeah, that's... Uh, the completed box. I just have this piece right here, which goes across this top. 
and then the tarp goes across over that piece and down to the tailgate meets the tailgate here so it's vented here on the top and then all the way across the top and it worked out really well last year like i said i'm not utilizing the whole bed this is a 10 foot bed and this is an eight foot box but you know there's a lot of one ton dump trucks out there that are only using just eight foot bed anyway so uh, but i'm losing this extra two feet here but that allows me to have uh, storage for tools like uh, blowers and you know rakes and all that stuff can kind of go on on board on the truck and of course it allows me to mount the leaf loader right on board uh, so I don't have to deal with swinging it in the back when I go to dump. So it's a pretty easy uh, setup to dump. All I got to do is just open the tailgate and, uh, you know, the tarp just swings open. And that's it. Pretty simple. So, again, this worked out pretty good last year. So if it isn't broken, don't fix it. So let me finish it up. I'm going to get the tarp. Uh, get the tarp. Where is it? Right over here. Got this tarp. Then that metal hose that goes through the top of the tarp and this cross piece here and uh, close it all up, we'll be ready to go. Get our first cleanup done pretty soon. I think we're gonna start one today. All right, finished up. Kinda happy, I forgot how good this box is. It's actually a really nice setup. I was thinking I was having problems with it at the end of the season, but I wasn't. Uh, must be thinking about one of my other setups. I've had so many of these leaf box setups in the past, so. But yeah, we got it all set here, we got our tarp screwed all the way around all the top edges so it's nice and tight and then it just uh ropes down here i just got three bungee cords that hold it tight up against the side so when the uh leaf sucker shoots in here through that tube right there it kind of blows it up a little bit and uh, some leaves will come out the side if it's not pretty tight so you got these uh one two three so i just got to pull what i usually do is just pull the these two bottom two i leave the top one when I go to dump, it's just that little first, like not even a foot. Uh, it's not a big deal. The leaves still come out. So when I go down to dump, all I got to do is pull these bungees here, here and here. And then I added these two bungees here. It's actually one long bungee that comes down, wraps around here and up here. And I got this pipe going through that's holding the bottom of this tarp down nice and tight up against the tailgate here. So that seals it off. There is a little bit, a few leaves kind of sneak by when I first start blowing like right, right at the beginning. But once it starts to pile up, it clogs that little area up. So for the most part, it's pretty sealed. I mean, I guess I could just add a two by four right to the top of this tailgate. Maybe I actually will do that. Just screw it down real quick. And that will help hold this up against. Yeah, that's exactly what I'll do. I'll put one two by four here. So when I close the tailgate, it'll pinch the bottom of the tarp up against it. So just to stop this from blowing out but uh yeah that's it all set ready to go um i usually disconnect the hose before i hit the road uh just for the simple fact that if i don't it kind of sticks out pretty far uh you know if i'm just going right down staying in the same neighborhood i can leave it on but if i'm going to go on any main roads i definitely like to take the hose off and either put it on the trailer or i can put it in here if i don't have the trailer so that's why it's nice uh, when I don't have the trailer to be able to have some tool storage with this area here. So I'm going to pull it outside and get a good uh, overall look at the setup. And uh, that'll be it for this video. And there we go. Fit a good amount of leaves in there where it grinds them up. It's not too bad. Would be nice to have that little extra capacity in the front. But I also remounted the uh, mud flap. I don't know if you can tell the difference right now, but one is actually farther back than the other. Um, it was mounted on a, a rail that stuck out off the frame rather than mounted right to the bottom of the frame of the dump. Either way, it, they went up with the dump body, so it didn't really matter. I don't know why they put them there. But uh, this one's actually back a little farther than this one is. So looks a little silly right now, but this ends up getting, see how it's bent? It ends up getting caught up when I put the dump up and put it back down, it gets caught in the springs and stuff. So I'm gonna mount that to the rail under here to match the other side. I'm just not gonna do it right now. Uh, so it looks a little silly for the time being, but at least I got my mud flaps on there. So I'm legal to go down the road. And uh, yeah, ready to start uh, our first cleanup of the season extra excited this year i'm not sure why i typically hate leaf cleanup season but uh a little extra hop in my step this year so 
Maybe it's because I didn't have to go through all the work of building a new leaf box like I have to do every year, it seems. So uh, I'm going to hook up the trailer, the walker, and uh, go make some money. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.